Can I get your ladies' names, please? Mine's Michelle. I'm sorry? Michelle. Michelle? Mm-hmm. What is the reasoning? I mean, are we in trouble? With I'm that? just asking you, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I would, I would rather Can I get a last name? No, that's all you need. I mean, I would rather not. You, you know the police in my community used to do the same thing you're doing, and now they're my best friends? We're just looking out for you, I swear. We're looking out for the whole human race, you know? So, we had, your kids, your we grandkids. We 40 miles of dead fish. And if you can breathe it, you're bo being poisoned. Smells horrible. It's all up in there. Yeah, so that means it went right into the river. If that is all full of oil. Yep, there's some on that side of the river. So oh, the oil made it to the river, everybody. It's in the little rock going to the big rock, heading to the Missouri. If they say that the oil did not make the river, they're lying to you. See the oil right there? It's all going into the river. Look at how much rock they got. It's just half mile of cars of rock just to cover up the oil. I'm worried about my well and stuff. I, def I mean, I definitely am. If it's going to go, it's going to be you contaminated or whatever, you know. We know it's not going really to be know. good now, but we should we kind of want it tested in a few years. We did it. We are. It is getting tested right now. But yeah, I said, okay, if nothing in there right now, what's it going to be a half a year from now? Exactly. And the thing is, they'll promise you everything. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if I could talk to you. About? About, I used to work for oil companies. I kind of want to tell you what you're breathing in causes cancer. Oh, no thanks. Well, no watch thanks. that. It's yeah, a documentary. No, Five no, million people have seen no the documentary. Thanks. My kid had a deformity. My dog died, my cat died, my supervisor died, my kidney got messed up. They're going to lie to no you because thanks. it's big money. Why? They're, they're not lying to us. They evacuated us because of it. You're here right now, three days later. No. We had people oh, get shit. sick ten Oh my gosh, okay. It's alright. God bless you. Do you know anybody that lives down here? I'm a reporter. I want to take my drone up and get some footage. Um, and I'm a veteran. I used to work for oil companies and now I'm trying to... Can I help you? Yeah. Can I help you? What do you need? What do you need? Um, I'm the press. My own. You can't do anything for me. I'm going to document this spill, and you're not going to do anything about it. Okay, great. Have fun. Yeah, God bless you. What's up? How are you doing? I know you. I know you. <laughs> I worked with him. I worked with that guy, and he testified under oath and lied, and he got caught. Time, all the workers are coming and serving us. And, and, and we, we 
never went there to do that very big. That's a lot. No, no, he never did. He stopped right here, or else you would have got us down here. Yeah, they're lying to you. Yeah, I cost you. I costed an oil company a billion bucks and used to be their head supervisor. The biggest spill in history happened in my hometown. Killed 60 people. Seven kids got leukemia, over 100 have cancer, and 40 miles of dead fish. They lied about the air sample test here, just like they did my People are sitting in those homes down there and they're bleeding in those rooms. It's benzene, tile, and hydrogen sulfide. It causes leukemia and cancer. I'm not trying to tell people. I know what you're asked to do, and you do what you're told to do, and you're doing a great job. The point is, they don't. These homeowners with the kids down there don't know they're being poisoned, and they only can sit for three years, and most of them get sick in about eight or nine. My whole community gets sick. So some of the guys that's been harassing me actually was on that oil spill and got caught lying under oath because they lied. Because of me, they cleaned up $700 million more. I don't care what they tell you, I got a documentary if you want to watch it. I just had a Jane Fonda. Yeah, I'm out of Michigan. Jane Fonda, uh, Ted Danza, um, Helms in Michigan. Yes, I am. I got a bronze star, too. Government and the belief that the blinders are so more comfortable than reality that this is what we're dealing with. Even John coming here with all of his knowledge, and they don't care. It's sad. There's kids, and there's grandkids, and you guys, you're eating the livestock that is drinking this oil. We need to stand together and be a voice for the people. And say, hey, we're here. We live here too. We're all in this together, and this is not going to help us at all. This is just going to take us down. It's going to sink the boat. You know. And we can't have that. We can't have that. We need. We need to work together as one human family. We need to stand together, be a voice together. Change is coming. Change is coming. We're gonna help. We're gonna, we gotta do it together. We have to do it together. So why did you wanna help me? My heart was here to know that this was wrong. I felt it was wrong. All of these oil things, the spills were wrong. Like I could feel it hurting me really bad and just being here now and seeing it it's really bad it just hurts so much and it hurts so much I want our children to be able to have a future what are we going to say when they don't have water to drink or land to put seeds in to feed themselves to help feed our family if this continues we're, they're not going to have that so I'm doing this for the children for them, for their future. If this keeps happening, they're not gonna have one. And that's why I'm here for them, for the children. Thank you, Chanel.
It's a revival. All instincts of survival. Make you pick your life, giving friends in the Bible. Follow our son to paradise like five. Or go west at your nest, invest in a hydro. I know. You don't care, don't mean that I don't care more desire than Mariah in these high notes. Cross here, switch it in the corner, all the rifle. We just gotta stand up. We ain't gotta fight, no. But we can all unite, though, and lighten the height of sight. Cause if we take a flight, so stand what is right your hand, what is still a heist. No, 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 your sight's gone. Let me turn your lights on. Protect all the rivers, creeks, and streams with seven cents a week. Days in these greedy dreams. I pray you see these things. Or at least you think. Cause the water rains queen and king. No DAPO. What will we do with the water to drink? What about a future generation? No water to pray. No water to drink. I'm costing the industry billions of dollars because I'm telling their secrets. This person I respect very much because anything on the checklist of what makes a hero, John Bolenbaugh lives up to. Not only has he risked everything, I mean everything, his life, his health, his family, his reputation to be a truth teller. Uh, but he's done it relentlessly. You couldn't create this character. He's a, he's a Bronze Star Navy vet who worked for the oil industry. Everyone he knows makes their living from the oil industry. And when he saw what was happening with the Kalamazoo tar sand spill, he made a choice that hopefully all of us would make, but he actually made it and he's paid the consequences. This morning as we were setting up, he was telling me how his ligaments are starting to fall apart because of the mm -hmm. chemicals that he's been exposed to. So I don't know of anyone more worthy in America of support than John because he is the absolute tip of the spear when it comes to turning around the fossil fuel industry and this sort of wrong direction we're going by continuing to build pipelines. And he's uh, just a wealth of information and our goal today is to find ways to support John's various projects, one of which is you know, the idea of getting a program for John because he, he films continuously everything, and it's not just for the message, it actually protects his life. The cameras on John at all times keeps him alive. And I've said this before and I strongly believe this, every day this man stays alive is a miracle. And he is leading us. So please welcome John Baldwin. Woo! <laughs>